Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Let's go to New York City and find our New York City correspondent, Professor Donald Singletary, the world's greatest public relations executive man, the guy who owns Harlem. Donald Singletary. Hi, Donald. How you doing, man? Hey, Rick Wright. How you doing? It's Harlem Day here in New York. It's uh, not the culmination, not the finish, but but sort of the, the big, the biggest part of Harlem Week, which now you know is actually Harlem Month. So it's been a lot of day up in Harlem, man. Last night, until a lot going on. But Rick, as always, do you want the good news or the bad news first? Hey, bring it on, man. Either one. Okay. <laughs> Either one, Donald. Is right, that kind of action? Give, give, have to give, you know, we lost just a great, great lady, Abby Lincoln. Yes, indeed, man. Abby Lincoln passed today uh, at 80 years old. You know, she was married to Max Roach, you know, the, yes. the iconic jazz drummer. You know, And uh, she was just such a great, of course, she was a... Uh, uh, just a voice in jazz and in politics and such a cultural icon for women, particularly black women and for black people. She was always strong on civil rights and, and culturalism. Uh, she was very influenced. Her singing was very influenced by Billie Holiday. And uh, they had actually, uh, and she had, and Abby was still performing until shortly before her death. And you might recall she made quite a few movies, and one with Sidney Poitier we all remember called For the Love for of the Ivy. For the Love of Ivy, man, yes. Yes, uh, with Sidney Poitier played sort of a slick guy in that one. One of the first times we saw Sidney play kind of a <laughs> slick, semi-gangster guy. He was cool in that one. Yeah. Hey, Donald, <laughs> did she play in the movie Nothing But a Man? You got to know that. You're going Nothing back But now. a Man, man. What a movie, man, Wasn't in the 1960s, something? man. That's right, and they played a lot of Motown music in that movie. Oh, God, well, the yes. Around 1964, 65. When that came out, yes, I was in graduate school. Yeah, at yeah, North Carolina she, she actually, Central you University. Know, for Love of Ivy, she got a Golden Globe nomination. I remember that. She did a lot of television shows. She did. I remember she did a couple of segments of All in the Family, which were just landmark shows. Her confrontations with Archie Bunker, and just an incredible woman. She was born in. I'm trying to remember where she was born. And, uh, but I know that she was the 10th of 12 children. Oh, man, big families, huh? Big family there. And, uh, just an incredible loss there, but she suddenly left her impact. And then, you know, another, we lost another person who a lot of people may not have heard of, and his name was Sid Small. And you know what? I have to tell you, I knew Sid. Hey, hold it. You said Sid died? Yeah, I knew Sid and had no idea. I knew Sid was in radio and had been yes. a big deal dog. And Sid is such a low-key guy. I had oh, no idea man. everything he was doing. Hold it, Donald. Hold it, man. Let me, let me take this in. You have to when, rewind when, that. When, yes, when, when, did, when did Sid? died at 72 a few days ago. Oh. And, you know, he used to come out in the places we hung out at, like like Miss Ellie's, where, where I took you when you came to New York yes. that time. And so many other places. Just a nice, nice low-key guy who was a, a radio entrepreneur. He was He owned WWRL. Yeah, because Sid and the guys also set up the National Black Network, they NBN, which was headquartered right there on uh, 7th Avenue, the Avenue of the Americas, man, back in the 1970s, man. Sid, man, Sid and I were, I haven't seen him in, oh, God, I can't believe he's dead, yeah, I man. Yeah, it was very sudden and unexpected. I saw him just a few weeks ago myself. Um, and, uh, yeah, he was a president of Access One. And uh, he really had sort of struggled to keep WWRL afloat when a lot of people had sort of given up on it. And he tried various formats and classic R&B and then a mix of sort of what they are today, a mix of sort of talk and some other and gospel and some other stuff. Uh, he, it was just incredible. Like I said, he was a guy who, in fact, he, he did very well also in real estate, owned a lot of stuff around here in New York and other places. He's a native of Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. And he started, he left his job at Time, Inc. in 1972, uh, you know, to start National Black Network. He had another brother named Gene. I can't think of Gene's Gene last Jackson. Name. Eugene Gene Jackson. Eugene Jackson. I interviewed Gene Jackson. Eugene Jackson, man. That's right. I interviewed him uh, during summer of 72. I was, I was taking a journalism course at NYU and working for the Jersey Journal newspaper. And I interviewed Gene Jackson. You know, now doing great things over in Africa. Oh, man. You know, as a brother from the South, man, a poor brother like me, man, from Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Got up to New York, man, to see my Aunt Louise, man, and my Aunt Rufy, man. Dr. Bruce Johnson's wife lived over on 106th Street, man, and my Aunt Louise. 
My mother's sister lived up in Harlem, man, on 140th Street. That was her last location in New York City. And Donald, man, I tell you, I used to go down and, and meet the guys, Eugene Jackson and Sid Small. Yeah. And I was so in, in, just, in, in, just absolutely blown away with these guys working for these big companies, you know? That's right. And I never forget, I was there one day, and uh, Sid Small looked at me and said, Yeah, Rick, we work for ABC and all these big companies, but we get ready to leave them, man. We didn't learn enough. It is time to set up our own stuff. And they yeah. set up the National Black Network, our incredible radio broadcast news network, man. Yeah, oh, we, we can learn a lot from that today. Donald, I got to process this, man. You just hit me with a ton of bricks, man, on the air here at Power 106.49 well, at the 4 o'clock funk hour, man. Said, Sid uh, Small. It happened very unexpectedly. Oh, man, this is, um, man, this is, okay. Well, Sid in heaven, Dr. Yeah. Rick Ryden. He, he was loved. He was Donald 72 Singleton, years old. 72 years old. Yeah, way too soon. Way oh, too soon. man. Well, Donald, well, let, let me, me give you a couple of the go highlights ahead, of man. Harlem Day, Rick, hit while us, I got man. you here. Hit us, and speaking of radio, it really was a big turn for radio because it's largely by Kiss FM who had uh, brought live entertainment and music. And and what they did, especially I like Bob Slate had his talk show out right there on the bandstand in front of the old historic Harlem Y. And they had local politicians, civic leaders, and just plain folk come up and talk and, and argue and fuss. And, and, and uh, it was good. A lot of discussion was around rents in Harlem are so high since the wave of regentrification. And uh, one local guy called out Charles Wrangle and said, you know, uh, he said a lot of his big donors, man, a lot of them big landlords. You know, so that was, that's got to be a big confrontation. You know? oh, but man. it's good, you know, when radio can bring that voice to the street and let people just converse and talk, it, it, was, it was wonderful. Power radio, Rip. The power of radio. we got to get back to using our medium board the way we used to use it years ago, man. Yeah, when get out in the street with the people. Out the people, man. Yeah, yeah, that's why you got local radio. Local radio, man. Oh, yes, indeed, Donald. WWRL New York, WNJR, WLIB, man, WBLS, all those incredible New York City radio stations, man. Hey, by the way, today is the birthday of Maxine Waters, man. Oh, my goodness. Didn't know that. Today okay. is well, we Maxine a lot of Waters. In, in all regards. And she's getting beat up along with Charlie Rangel, too, man, here yeah, in Washington. Yeah. It's got to be a conspiracy, man. I'm telling you. You know, you just uh, made triggered something in my mind. You know, with the, with the passing of Sid Small, now now the, the future WWRL may be in doubt. Yes, indeed. He was, he was more than just a you know, CEO. He was a, a real leader, and, real, he, and he cared enough. You know, cause he had, I think he made that purchase from, uh, did, did, from the United Negro College Fund back around 1982. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, Donald, we got to keep the funk alive, man. we got to keep communications alive, man. Let's sit down and talk this week, man. We can... Hey, the Dr. Rick Wright Donald Singletary show is still alive, though. That's right. That's right. We, got we that. are still on the throne. Thank you, Jesus, man. And we got work to do. Absolutely. Well, Donald, let me keep the funk alive here at Power 106.9, the 4 o'clock funk hour, dedicating the show this afternoon to the memory of Mr. Sid Small. A great historic African American broadcaster, dear friend, man, and Eugene Jackson's over in Africa, huh? Yeah, doing big stuff over in South Africa. In fact, I'll send you this piece on uh, Sid Small. I think David Hinckley wrote it. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, Donald. Over now. Take care. Take Terry. care. Donald Singletary checking in from New York City, keeping the fuck alive with James Brown. All right, so get to all the Syracuse University alums throughout the world. Checking out Dr. Rick Ray, Power 106.9, Old School Sunday. On a big bad Sunday afternoon, Dr. Rick Wright live and well in Syracuse here at Power 106.9 Radio. Do it! The network reminds you that you too may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.